नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू इनसाइड इंग्लिश एकेडमी आज यू वीडियो तो डमी कंटिन्यू करो बी सारे सो अमर जी तो छह आगर डिस्कशन अस असिले ऑन द चैप्टर द एलिंग प्लैनेट द ग्रीन मूवमेंट्स रोल फ्रॉम द जनरल इंग्लिश सेलेब्स ऑफ एचएस फर्स्ट ईयर सो नाउ कंटिन्यूइंग विथ आवर डिस्कशन साइंटिस्ट्स हैव कैटलॉग्ड अबाउट 1.4 मिलियन लिविंग स्पीशीज विथ व्हिच मैनकाइंड शेयर्स द अर्थ एस्टीमेट्स वेरी वाइडली एज रिगार्ड्स द स्टिल अनकैटलॉग्ड लिविंग स्पीशीज बायोलॉजिस्ट रेकन दैट अबाउट 3 टू 100 मिलियन अदर लिविंग स्पीशीज स्टिल लैंग्विश अननेम्ड इन इग्नोमिनस डार्कनेस सो एटिया लेके आमी कम पालु अर्थर कंडीशन की होइसे एंड ऑथर जने की होर कारणे Planet Earth can kind of compare Kurise with a patient whose health is in a declining state. So, ailing planet title to use Kurise. Our green movement or role to key as well in reviving the health of our planet and can a key human beings or environment or relationship to impact Kurise. Can a key I mean change Kurise or money or choices for or can a key I mean basically sensitive for Kurise. Towards environment with this new awakening, due to green movement, eh, anise. Our green movement to originate was in New Zealand. These are the important points that we have to keep in mind. Our eighth paragraph at course is eh, that scientists will like eh, that the register course is eh, about 1.4 million living species, which are like our human beings eh, share core eh, space on this planet. So it is obvious to you that human beings have realized that they are not the dominating species. Rather, I am share koru space on this planet, and I am car logo share koru according to registered numbers. It's about 1.4 million of other species of creatures. Kintu hekhinyo kol register, unregistered boat ashe jibila kor kotha koi se authore as Biologists reckon that about three to a hundred million other living species still languish unnamed. Languish means lah lah hai, weak ho jaye the hindi. They grow weak eventually with time, unrecognized, in ignominious darkness. Ignominious means ho jaye dukh loga. It is pitiful. So in ek baat hai ignominious darkness sort. Asset and detail, and eventually they perish without even being recognized or registered officially. One of the early international commissions which dealt inter alia with the question of ecology and environment was the Brandt Commission, which had a distinguished Indian as one of its members, Mr. L. K. Jha. The first Brandt report raised the question. Are we to leave our successors a scorched planet of advancing deserts, impoverished landscapes, and ailing environment? So, get the report or what have we said? Here we are dealing with statistics. Our here report or basis or repair report to that at a commission a report account form kuribo. Our here commission to as on Indian member was sile Mr. L K J. This name is important from exam point of view. Our inter alia bolis a koi se he. Term to abuzai among other things. So, among other things, what they dealt with was the question of ecology and environment. This commission, name of the commission was the Brandt Commission, and the Indian member in that commission was Mr. L K J. The first Brandt Commission raised a question, or another important question to us, is that are we to leave our successors a scorched planet of advancing? Deserts, impoverished landscapes, and ailing environment. Why are we doing this? This was a question that we as humans feel ourselves that we have to actually deal with these things if we need to find answers to these questions which were being raised. I mean, at that was the question that Ami and our future generation are carrying. It could be our naivety. Then are we going to leave them a planet that is called deserts? That is why. जो रखोल इम्पोवरिश्ड डिस्ट्रॉयड लैंडस्केप्स था कि वो स्टार्विंग लैंडस्केप था कि वो विदाउट एनी ग्रीनरी एंड एन एलिंग एनवायरनमेंट व्हिच विल बी कंपलीटली अनहेल्थी डिवोर्ड ऑफ एनी प्लांट्स डिवोर्ड ऑफ एनी अदर स्पीशीज ऑन अर्थ मूविंग ऑन इन 
a thoughtful book, The Name, The Global Economic Prospect, Mr. Lester R. Brown, whose full name is Mr. Lester Russell Brown, who happens to be an American environmentalist. He mentions the four principal biological systems on Earth. And according to him, those four important, principal means important biological systems are fisheries, forest, grasslands and croplands and they are also econom they are also important according to the global economic system perspective they form the foundation of the global economic system that is in trade also there is global trade these four biological systems form a very important part in addition to supplying our food these four systems provide virtually all the raw materials for industry except minerals and petroleum derived synthetics and this is the reason why he mentions them as the four principal biological systems on earth today because they are the source of food of raw material of the important raw materials for trade except for minerals and petroleum derived synthetics in large areas of the world human claims on these systems are reaching an unsustainable level a point where the productivity is being impaired and because these are the four most important biological systems according to him he says that human claim that is human control and demand over these four Biological systems are going on increasing with time and due to this growing human claim over these biological systems, today we find that the productivity is decreasing because when something which is rich in resources, if it's overused, overexploited, overextracted, then definitely its productivity and its potential is going to decrease over time when this happens fisheries collapse forests disappear grasslands are converted into barren wastelands and croplands deter deteriorate so we are talking about human claims over these biological systems but how can we actually understand our, our control over these biological systems যদি আমি চাও ফরেস্ট পয়েন্ট অফ ভিউর পর আমি ফরেস্ট কেন কন্ট্রোল করছো আমি ডিফরেস্টেশন করে আসো এনক্রোচমেন্ট করেছো হিউমেন সেটেলমেন্ট হয়ে গেছে ইলিগেল সেটেলমেন্ট হয়ে গেছে ফরেস্ট এরিয়াবিল যা এগ্রিকালচারাল গ্রিন বেল্টস থাকে এগ্রিকালচারাল ল্যান্ডস থাকে তাত আমি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিজ বনায় আসো দ্যাট ইজ উই আর ইউজিং দ্য এগ্রিকালচারাল ল্যান্ড উই আর ইউজিং দ্য ফরেস্ট এরিয়াস ফর আওয়ার পার্সোনাল ইউজ ফর আওয়ার কমার্শিয়াল ইউজ এন্ড grasslands pura me kene ke dominate kori aso or how are we exerting our claim over grasslands at a process as a eutrophication boli je to kwa hoy nutrient enrichment boli there is externally je ami nutrient add koru grasslands bila ko tete ki hoy ami nutrition nutrients add kori aso tar fertility to borha bole or ma produce to increase kore bole but what happens in the long run is pisole go pelai tar productivity to komi jay aro abnormal kisuman ami symptoms dekha pao because ecological imbalance ahi jay he grassland to that's an ecosystem that grassland or tar eta abnormal eta imbalance ahi jay in the ecosystem and next is first forest followed and grassland and next fisheries fisheries or we can get control core our grassland are also important point is that is overgrazing jete human beings a cattle bila ko overgraze korabo loi jay in the grasslands that is another way of human claim over grasslands next is fishery fishery threat ahe duta way pra eta hoyse natural eta hoyse man made or man made ways bur pe buried hobo pare যেনে আমি ওভার ফিশিং করব পর পলিউশন হব পে এন্ড ন্যাচারাল বোর হলে হব ক্লাইমেট চেঞ্জ যেটার ওপর ডাইরেক্ট ইম্প্যাক্ট পড়ে ফিশারিজ প্রোডাকশনের
Similarly, crop plants will not go to jetty army, overuse or over exploitation or carne, then productivity will come as soil pollution and other reason hoy for the deterioration or for the reduction in quality of the crop plants. Our hebelak for carne today we are left with less forest cover, that is, jibelak forest area will designate Korahus location, hebelak or to encroachment ahigose. Human claim ahi goise. Fisheries blog over exploit kora hoise. Croplands blog over use kora hoise. And even the grasslands are being exploited. In poor countries, local forests are being decimated in order to procure firewood for cooking. Jibro poor countries are said. Jibro based hoi. They are totally based on agriculture. They are totally dependent on agriculture. Hebila countries are. Forest, the Jibur and a local forest thake, Hebula corpora, local residents bilake, firewood pie. They get the firewood from those local forests for their daily survival. But Jetia Hebu decimate kora mune hose, reduce kora in number, destroy kora. And Jetia Hebu uh, forest buritami destroy koro, but eventually we are negatively, we are adversely affecting our climate or environment in some places firewood has become so expensive that what goes under the pot now cost more than what goes inside it under the pot means firewood it, it, it has become so costly that it, it is even more expensive than the grains that goes inside the pot since the tropical forest is in the words of Ms. dr. Mayers the powerhouse of evolution Several species of life face extinction as a result of its destruction. So, it was important, hoy. You might get a question as tropical forest. Why are the tropical forests so important from the point of view of environment conservation, from the point of view of sustainable development, or why are the tropical forests known as a powerhouse of evolution? Because you see, tropical forest they are homes to a variety of species of flora and fauna or and fauna and jod species basi thake that sustaining sustainability possibility bahir jay why because when we have larger number larger number of species of plants then we have greater possibility of sustainability for a larger number of life forms because different species that are available to the ecosystem form, they interact with the ecosystem. More life forms of support to survive. And because of the tropical forest, today we find that there are various life forms which are available on the surface of this planet. Plus, Tropical forest or plants basi thake, different types of plants thake, big trees thake. So, hitu karne ki hoi, they are also a powerhouse of a source of absorption of carbon dioxide and they release a larger amount of oxygen into the atmosphere. So, they had to purify kore rakhe amar atmosphere to our human being who supply kore se with greater amount of oxygen or jetty army tropical forest would determine destroy coral then not only we end up losing those rich resources end up losing those rich varied species of plants and animals which go extinct we render them extinct but also end up harming our own lives because we are allowing larger amount of the greenhouse gases to release into the atmosphere, that is, jikini absorb kore rakhi sile he plants pila ke, he trees pila ke, he bura meetya, forest destroy kore pila, we are allowing them to get released into the atmosphere. And that is how we impact climate change and that is how human activity, it leads to uh, disastrous results leading to a phenomenon like global warming. It has been well said that forests precede mankind. Forests precede mankind. 
deserts follow. Kyo karne koi se to because human settlement huar agot forest exist kori se le. Kintu human settlement huar pisot ami ki kori se to amar nizor benefit or karna ami forest bur destroy kori se to and we are only left with more and more deserts and amar future generations or karna ami ki eri bogo se to we are going to leave only deserts for our future generations. The world's ancient patrimony of tropical forest is now eroding at the rate of 40 to 50 million acres a year. Ancient patrimony because of their uh, ancient patrimony because of tropical forest because they exist long before human settlement came about. And then the author says that it is a tropical forest to come at, at, at an alarming rate that is of 40 to 50 million acres per year. This number is important. And the growing use of dung for burning deprives the soil of an important natural fertilizer. So, today I mean dung use, especially in the rural area, they use cow dung to fertilize the soil. So, here, I mean cow dung use, we are depriving the soil of a natural fertilizer, and that is nitrogen. And I mean nitrogen, Reduce core do nitrogen amount to reduce core. What what we end up doing? I mean, a two year or car number produce to be over because we are trying to incre increase the productivity. But for the long longer run, soil quality to come is above our soil fertility to come is above. We are actually harming our own selves by burning cow cow dung which is depriving the soil of this natural fertilizer. The World Bank estimates that a five-fold increase in the rate of forest planting is needed to cope with the expected fuel wood demand in the year 2000. So back 2000 or 2000 at, 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 at estimate Corey said that about five-fold increase like when the rate of forest planting Yodiyami cover Korbo Lagyama loss if we have to make up for that loss that we had incurred then we have to plant trees to as much as five fold as five times in number james speck the president of the world resources institute said the other day we were saying that we are losing the forest at an acre a second but is much closer to an acre and a half to a second so these are the statistics. These are the these are the statistics from reports, which are the findings of various environmental organizations and groups and commissions on environment and the rate at which human activities, human needs, and human claims are actually harming the environment, and eventually we are harming ourselves. So we have to keep these facts in mind in order to substantiate our arguments with these facts and these numbers in the answers. Article 48A of the Constitution of India provides that the state shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country. That is, the state will take all the measures to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the forest and wildlife of the country that was enshrined in the constitution. But as we know, the Jibur Bostom constitution mentioned that so to and we follow no Kuru. We actually live by the policy rules are meant to be broken. But this is not right because now human beings are realizing that their this indifference has caused a lot of harm to themselves, a lot of harm to their own ecosystems, to their immediate environment, which is going to be a threat for their future, their immediate future generations. But what causes endless anguish is the fact that laws are never respected nor enforced in India. A recent report of our Parliament's Estimates Committee has highlighted the near catastrophic depletion.